Hi, this is Mike Schofield with Dynon Avionics. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to update your Skyview system. Before you start, make sure you have your USB memory stick available. One of these is included with every Skyview screen. Next, insert the memory stick uh, into your computer. You may see one of these windows asking what you want to do with the drive. You can just close out. I'm actually going to open it so I can show you the files that we add. Next, go to the support tab at www.dynonavionics.com and then to the downloads Skyview section. This will take you to a page that will describe the entire update process just like we're um, doing here. And you want to read everything on this page. As you get to the second half of the page, you'll see the actual files that you need to download to update your system. So the first one here is the actual firmware update. This is the big file. This is version 1.5. It was released, released March 29th. And then there are, there's a set of release notes that I can click on that will open in a new tab. And you can see all the different changes there. Going back to that pa the, the download page, if I go to the firmware download link, right-click it, select Save Link As or Save Target As, depending on your browser. And I'll get a, a dialog box where I choose where I want to store it. I'm going to save it right to the USB memory stick. So that's uh, my E drive. It'll be a, um, a random drive letter depending on your computer. And then I'm going to click Save. So you can see on the upper left hand of the screen here, and this may be different on your computer depending on how it's set up, that this is going to take a couple of minutes to finish. While that's finishing, I'm going to see the other files that I need. This next file is what we call a config file. In this case, it turns on the map data overlay that one point, version 1.5 enables. So I'm going to do the same thing with that file. Save link as, make sure the drive is selected, which it already is, and then save. And moving down the page, we have the navigation database. So version 1.5 adds aviation data overlay for the US only. Uh, we are able to do that because the FAA provides free data, uh, whereas the rest of the world, um, that data isn't as easily available. We'll have um, a subscription option available uh, for worldwide data later this year, along with the full moving map software product. So for now, if you live in the US, you can download the, the, um, the current aviation data. The same thing. and I'm downloading that. The EMS, the Engine Monitor Sensor Definitions, are a set of sensor characterizations and profiles that the Engine Monitor uses uh, so that it knows what resistances and other measurements equal what temperatures and pressures. So we update that from time to time as we, as we um, add sensors and you know, fix any small problems with the existing characterizations. It's the same thing. right click, save link as, I can download that. And then finally there's a couple of links that take you to um, new pages. Um, if, you, if you want a set of EMS pin mappings and page layouts that are pre-configured for you, you can go to this link, it'll open in a new window or tab. This takes you to a, a forum post where we've downloaded or uploaded uh, different configurations, typically for the, the configurations that we sell engine probe kits for. So four and six cylinder fuel injected and carbureted engines, as well as Jabru and Rotax. I'm gonna skip this for now. And then finally, uh, every Skyview system comes with high resolution U.S. terrain on it because that's where the majority of our customers are, but we do have terrain for the rest of the world. Because these files are really big, we've regionalized them. So if I go to this page, again that's opened in a new tab, you can hover over the different regions and select the file that is appropriate for where you fly. These files are really big. They will take a, a significant time to download. About an hour, they're two and a half gigabytes a piece. Um, so I'm going to skip that as well. So it looks like 
everything is done downloading, if I go back to my drive view, you can see that there's a handful of files. So now I'm going to take this USB stick to the Skyview screens and update the system. So now I'm at the aircraft, or in this case a lit photo booth, and I have my Skyview system powered up just like you would in, in your aircraft. And I've already inserted the USB stick into the uh, port on the harness. You can do that before you power the Skyview screen on or after, it doesn't really matter. It's going to recognize the stick either way. And then, uh, because we've read the installation manual and also the download page, we know that to get into the setup menu, we press and hold buttons 7 and 8 for a second. And now we're into the setup menu. The next options that we'll see are, are this is the system software menu, which does have some available options because there's a USB stick inserted. So if I tab over to that menu, you can see that there's an option to upgrade the system software, um, an option to create a system backup, export settings, export the data log, and to load files. We're going to use a few of these depending on the software update. As of right now, um, for version 1.5, we're recommending that you take a, a system backup So, as the first step. And so to do that, we'll go to Create System Backup, and then tab over, and it's going to ask for a file name. So since I'm upgrading from R1, or release one, let's call this R1, and then I hit the backup button. I'm not going to hit that right now just so I can back up and, and not spend the next few minutes um, um, waiting for that. So I'm just going to cancel. You would actually hit the backup button you know, at that moment, of course. And then the next thing I'm going to do is actually update to the latest firmware. So whenever there's a firmware file on the USB stick that's newer than the firmware that is already loaded into your Skyview screen. It'll give you this top option which says upgrade system software to version, and in this case it's 1.5, um, and then the rest of the numbers are just uh, internal software build numbers. So we're going to tab over, and it says up with, it's, go, it's asking us if we really want to update, and we're going to say yes. At this point, you'll see a series of messages as it updates the firmware. Uh, because this does take a couple of minutes, I'm just going to cut the video here to, uh, to what you'll see when we're done. Okay, so we're back. Um, I cut out probably four minutes or so of the system, loading the files, updating, rebooting, and then ending up right back here. So, as you remember from the download page, there were a couple of other files besides the firmware update itself that we put on the USB memory stick. So let's go back into the setup mode and load those individually. So I'm going to go to the load files option this time. And you can see these are all of the files that are on that memory stick. The first one is the actual Skyview 1.5 update. That's what we just loaded. The next one is the aviation da data. So I'm going to hit load. It's asking if I'm sure, and yes, I'm sure. And now it is loading the new database. The system will reboot. And the just a moment will be ready to do that with the next file. I should mention that all of these updates, if you're doing them in an, air, in an aircraft or anywhere, should be done with a stable power supply. Um, so that means something uh, more than the, um, the optional external backup battery. You really want it powered by a relatively charged aircraft battery or a uh, desktop you know, regulated power supply. Um, some, one thing that some people do is they'll hook up their battery charger to their aircraft battery, and then that ensures that there's um, you know, an ample supply of power so that um, the, the Skyview system um, you know, doesn't shut down in the middle of an update. One nice thing about Skyview is that even if that does happen, even at the, you know, the worst possible time, there really, there really is not any worst possible time. Um, if you give a call to tech support, we can um, you know, send you a, a special USB memory stick that can recover from basically any bad software loading scenario. So uh, we're back here once again, and we're going to go Again, to system software, to load files. We're going to load this Skyview config 
file. That's the one that enables the moving map overlay. And then finally, load files and then the sensor update for the engine monitor. And now, you can see we have the, um, um, the, the big feature uh, that was added for uh, 1.5, which is the aviation uh, data overlay. So you can see this is, um, this is, a, this is simulated uh, position right now. We're not really where, where this as we are, but this is Boeing Field, um, just south of downtown Seattle, and then SeaTac Airport's over there. We've got all the Class Bravo airspace and the Class Delta airspace. And that's basically how you um, update a Skyview system. This one is uh, um, ready to go fly again, and it's been updated to version 1.5. Thanks for watching.